me. It was, I was very fortunate for that, and it was good. I mean, I learned a lot. That's it. You know, with this opportunity, I think Nick says he wants athletic offensive linemen. Do you feel like he hit that mode? He says he does believe you fit that yeah, mode. Yeah, absolutely, I do. I feel like I do for sure. Um, there's some things that we're asked to do that I feel like I'm very apt to do, and I feel like I have, I've gotten better every day, and I'm going to continue to get better every day. And, my craft at the end of the day, so. How much can you learn from these sessions? Because offensive linemen, you guys don't get a chance to put hands on an opponent yeah. and move them around the way you normally would. Yeah, no, I think you can learn a ton, especially mentally. Like, you get a ton of mental reps out of these practices and the individual stuff you do, like with Coach John Benton, just individual drills and stuff like that, working on our technique and working on things like that. I think I get a ton of things, like, cleaned up throughout this time, and I'm very, very fortunate to be able to be out here and doing OTAs and doing that mini camp. Um, and I feel like I've gotten way better every day and I'm gonna continue to stack continue to stack and just keep perfecting my craft and I feel like it's very it's a very valuable time. I think maybe taking for granted sometimes and I think just being able to be out there with my teammates and practicing them it's like you can't take it for granted. So. You know, what do you feel like you needed to clean up from last year? Just tighten some things up, work on my like in terms of offensive line specifics, work on my hands, working on work on my second step quickness, things of that nature. Um, and I feel like I have and I feel like I've gotten better. And um, I mean there's a I mean a ton of things that can go along with that, but those are just two things that come off the top of my head and I'm always focusing on trying to get better at something every day. I just think the first month and then the back couple weeks of the season, the offensive line was a unit with a lot of shuffling through the injury, but having the chance to be a stabilizing piece of the unit now, what does that mean to you? It means a ton. I mean, I obviously came here to play football at the end of the day, and that's what I want to do, and that's that's what I love to do. I mean, that's what I want to do for the rest of my career at the end of the day. So I'm very fortunate to be in this position, and I'm going to continue to work, and um, every day is an opportunity at the end of the day. So coming in with that beginner's mentality and trying to get better every day is what's important. And um, I'm going to continue to do so. You said beginner's mentality. You're starting over again, second year, second new scheme. And you yes. already talked about it a little bit, but how different really can you tell that it is based on just one year in the old scheme and one year now in the Clint scheme? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely different schemes. Um, and obviously learning what I have learned over the past year, I have a different perspective on things and things slow down for you as time goes on. Like there's no better way to get better at football than playing football at the end of the day. And having a year under my belt, seeing how everything works and everything like that helps things slow down. But in terms of scheme and stuff like that, it's just different. And being able to be out here at OTAs, because I wasn't doing, I didn't do OTAs last year. So being able to do OTAs this year and just get these needed reps and banked reps going into camp is going to be very beneficial. So.